All right, here we are on MC Pueblo, back in the minigame district where I am going to be building a new game. Now, this is my first video of actually making a minigame, but I think I'm going to start making them more often. I'm going to make a video for each minigame I make. So this was the big one. This was the big PvP arena I built. I have Guess Who, and I built Connect 4, as well as this Go Fish game. So today, based on the title, you can see that we are going to be building Whack-A-Mole. At least attempting to. I need to design it first. Alright, so here we are in my creative world, and to build this whack-a-mole game, I'm taking inspiration from, I think it was Hermitcraft Season 4, with Etho and Doc in the dang land, and they built, like, the Diglett game. I'm gonna try and do something like that. I'm not gonna look at their design or anything, but basically it's the same idea, where you have a certain amount of time to shoot minecarts that pop up. Well, really, it would have been as simple as pushing the minecart up and then back down. Then I realized that people could still probably shoot a minecart sitting down there and then cheat. So my idea was to push the minecart away. Then I realized you can't stick your piss in it back into place with, without making the minecart disappear. So now I need input on both sides. So what I did was I ran observers into here on just the right delay. So what it does is it pushes it over and holds it up there for a little bit. And this one pushes it back. This dispenser is going to reload the minecart if it gets hit and uh, I have to be in survival mode for you to see it get hit but if it does because uh, in, in creative minecarts don't drop from arrows but in survival it does so if you hit it it will go into the top of minecart which is going to lead back up into here but also uh, it's going to start a system that gives you one point on the scoreboard wherever that's going to be so in theory this shouldn't be that hard to do Quick thing, I just realized that this is the floor level. I'm okay with this piston here, but not with the red stuff. So the floor is going to be flat like this, uh, in theory. And then there's going to be these going up, so I need to make sure I keep this flat. So, um, if you notice, this one piece of redstone is a little bit problematic. So I can have an easy fix for that. Just get a dropper in here and replace this redstone with a dropper. Oop, not facing that way, facing a good side where it's a cobblestone thing. So I could probably make the surface cobblestone, and it won't look too bad with that piston there. So the next circuit I need to make is the return circuit, which is just this minecart picking something up, detecting it, sending a signal out somewhere that way, and returning the minecart to this here fella. Uh, uh, dispenser. I'm good at talking, I swear. All right, let's do it. Alright, that's a problem. Let's demonstrate that problem quick. I'm probably not going to do a cut for every problem we face, but this is too fast. So here's what happens. We flip the lever, it goes up like this, uh, then I'll switch to survival. Shoot it. Great. Everything's going great so far. I shot it. It's waiting to be picked up, but this is too fast. And it, the minecart lands right there. Is uh, Put a minecart right here too. Oop, okay. Even simpler, put blocks on the end so they don't hit each other. And perfect. Okay, so I think this is now ready on this detecting if you've got a shot. Alright, and now when this deactivates... And it picks it up. Perfect. On to the test. Alright, and the real test right here. So. Okay. So there is a new minecart, which is good. There is not a minecart in here, though. Okay. There is a minecart here, here, here. Is there one in here? There's two in here. Okay. So if I run this again, let's just, just for the sake of testing... It, it might be fine. Is it going to break? Is the question. Huh? Well, well, well something broke. <laughs> what on earth? The dispensed minecart is messed up to the... 
Let's figure this out. Okay, so a minecart placed by me works just fine. Do a dispensed minecart. And that breaks. That is not something I expected to ever see happen. Wait a second. Now that I have the slabs here, it stopped working. Hang on a second. So, if I... Oh my gosh. Okay, first idea. If there's a block there, maybe it's forced to push this. Let's, let's find out. Okay. Nope, that didn't work. But... It still kind of works. So where can I have... First of all, let's figure this out. Where can I have slabs? If I have slabs on this side of it, is it going to mess it up? Okay, there's a new minecart in there. I don't think this is going to mess it up. Yeah, okay. That's okay to have slabs on that side. But once you start having them... Yeah, yeah, there it is. Right there. Because you can have it there, but you can't have it there because the dispenser... Okay. Well, gang, I think I got this mystery just about wrapped up. Now, this is going to be a problem because the minecart's going to start to move, but hear me out here. The reason this wasn't going up was because there was a slab here. This piston was trying to push it, but if you look, look at the hitbox. The hitbox is over this line. The dispenser dispenses it over the... So if I have... My question is, if I have a solid block right here, will it still dispense it into this block? Let's find out. You know what might just work even a little bit better than all this finagling? W what if I just, like, turned the rail to face that direction? Does that, does that work? Because now it's going to be facing that way. Even if there's a block there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, finally. Perfect. It works great. Well, hmm. Well, you can't win them all. I'm going to call that a day. Okay, fix that, and now the system is perfect. So, this, this in theory, isn't going to interact with any of this side, so that means I can tile them together very close to one another, which is exactly what I wanted. So, I'm going to do that, and hopefully they all still work. So this is what we got to work with now. This is what we got. And uh, first things first. Okay, so this, this doesn't look very technical, or, but it, it really is all we need. And it fits perfectly into this slot, so that's great to have it this uncompact, sloppy version of it. So how this works is here, let's power this. If there is a item with that's only stackable to one, like all these items, or only stackable to 64, I should say. All these items, it only gives a signal strength of 1, but if we put in a sword, it's going to be higher, and it's going to start activating the system. Okay, so everything's hooked up to this here uh, thing, so I picked some random ones, and you'd get them. So those, those, that's how it works. Um, so yeah, we got three that time, these three, and all of them work. I have tested, and all of these work, so... They stay up for a little bit, shoot, 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 and it's going to be great. Well, I've decided the scoreboard is too much work for me, and I've already done all this, and I am, I'm, I'm tired, and I, I want to be done. So I'm just going to do a good old items flow into a chest, and that's your score. Y yep. <laughs> I'm lazy. Okay, looking at it from here, it's not actually that big. 17 by 17 isn't that big of a thing, so this should actually be the perfect spot for it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to build it here. Yeah. All right, I got a, a nice sizable hole dug, so I'm gonna have the top platform there, and down here under it is gonna be all the redstone because, uh, as you can see from this here dice roller, <laughs> I like to have my redstone on display. So that's what I'm gonna do.
Seems like we got a game of chess going here. I'm far too busy. I just realized that three and nine is just one and three. So I just need two items and a sword. I'm, I'm such an idiot. All right, just about everything that I built in creative is now built here, but that's not the entire game. I still have to hook up all the randomizers to one thing, which I had done creative, but I have to hook them all up together and then hook them up to a timer that basically makes the game happen. So that's, that's about it. So yeah, I'll show you when it's done. Not much else to do but update. All right. Uh, at test time. Time to test. So, alright. I didn't attach the thing. Whoops. <laughs> um, it doesn't look like it worked. That one didn't. I mean, it might, it might help if I could hit. Oh, getting some lag here. Did that one reset? No, it didn't. Why? Why can't you just work? This one worked. I tested that one with Ocean, and it worked. But it's not working anymore. Why won't you work? Alright, here's another take. Did I reattach the redstone? I did. Okay, let's, uh, let's give it a shot. Please work. <gasps> it worked! Hallelujah! Those two worked? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. That one didn't work. That's okay. Um, I think the other one worked. It's a rainy day on MC Pueblo. Dark, stormy. Which is fair. It's fair because this game doesn't work. It w okay. So, oh, got a big lag spike there. Um, I have rebuilt and redesigned this system about six times today. Spent my entire day working on it to try and get it to work. Like, if you look in there, it looks quite different than how we left it. And the problem isn't the redstone. I realized something. Um, so... The system still works in single player and survival, and it would it works on multiplayer as well, but it doesn't work on this server specifically because if I do this, I can show you something. Now, there was a problem where these would get stuck as items, even when it, well, I'll just show you. So I have this manual full reset button, but yeah, that's the problem. All uh, these okay, so I'll reset them again, and you can see exactly what the issue is. Only these front three work. These back six don't work. But I, I can get them to work, and I will show you how. Gotta get real close to them. And then they work. This one didn't because I was too far away. This one didn't because I was too far away. But... Now, these ones... That one didn't. That's weird. I think that one just got shot out weird. But the problem is proximity. There is something on this server... Preventing hopper minecarts from picking up items that are like it's just a plug-in for lag purposes. I assume um, That prevents Hopper minecarts from working from such a big distance To for lag purposes and stuff, I guess, but That's preventing this game from working. So on this server specifically this doesn't work I'm going to revamp the game. I'll drop another update video at some point probably but um this for the start of this series idea not working too well um i think the rest of this i already edited the rest of this video um while i was waiting for this system to stop breaking it's not gonna stop breaking um but i can throw around some of my ideas that i'm gonna be having um i'm still gonna finish the video obviously you know that because it's up but um my idea is to rip out this middle part 
and then have you stand here and do 360s to shoot them like you aim and you have to spin around and I'll add more delay for that to work but that's my new idea so hopefully you'll be in range for all of them um, but I don't know I, I don't know honestly I honestly don't know what's gonna come out of this but um, fingers crossed it's gonna be okay obviously it's gonna be okay it's not like this is a horrible a terrible event it, it is pretty sad it's very sad that this didn't work but um, we'll get through it and hopefully hopefully everything will be better so yeah this 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 could have gone better this could have gone better